race day in Las Vegas brings a record-breaking crowd for a long day at the track. And fans spend a long day on the road as traffic backs up for hours on the way to the race. And a family trying to get away from violence remembers their son shot and killed this morning by police. You're watching News 13 inside Las Vegas. Now, News 13 at 6. Here on a long, tough day at the brand new Las Vegas Speedway takes the checkered flag. The first race at the new Speedway brings a major league crowd and some major league problems. Race organizers expected 35,000 fans, but came closer to doubling that number today. Good evening, I'm Kim Sherwood. And I'm Christine Mahoney. And for Ray Cortapassi, News 13's Robin Burke spent the day at the new Speedway, and she joins us now live with more on things how, how things went out there. Hi, Robin. Hi, you guys. Well, Kim and Christine, things went okay. Fans did arrive here a little bit frustrated, and that was because of all the traffic snarls, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that coming up. But that's the reason a lot of fans missed the start of the race. And, of course, they also had to have time to get in there and, and find new seats and a new speedway, something that took time because they just weren't familiar with it. But absolutely no complaints about the race itself. Every seat provides a perfect view of the entire track here. It was just a rough start for many fans, and most said it was worth it. It's a nightmare getting to the track. Uh, from what I hear, it's uh, going to be an awesome track, but they're going to have to schedule it weather permitting as far as the windy and dusty season. they got to do something about that. The race is fantastic. It's so exciting. Adrenaline rush, you know? Now, outside of the track, there were some problems in the concessions area. They ran out of food, they ran out of beer. But remember, about 20,000 more fans showed up than they had originally expected. And of course, problems like that are going to happen. Back to you. Robin, I'm also guessing with this being the first race, they're, they're still getting the bugs out. Exactly, and they have some kinks to work out. They know that. There are some construction really going on still here. And hopefully by the, the next big race, I think it's in the first weekend in November, all that will be finished and complete. Okay, thank you very much, Robin Burke, reporting live, kind of victim to its own success. That's right. But I don't know if you should complain about that <laughs> or not. It ends up to be a good thing. A lot of folks went out there. That's right. Well, the Indy racers may have been topping speeds of some 200 miles an hour, but the fans, of course, barely got off to a snail's pace. Boy, you can say that. Maybe the biggest challenge that came out of opening day was getting fans in and out of the speedway. Traffic today was a nightmare. It's been this way since the other side of Las Vegas, coming from California. The fans set out in droves to see the IndyCar drivers blaze around the Las Vegas Speedway, but there was no fast track to this inaugural race. Fans measured their headway in inches. You can see it's, it's gridlock, but it is moving from time to time here. Uh, on down on Las Vegas Boulevard and up around the uh, race bowl itself is pretty, pretty well jammed up. A half hour drive was transformed into a log jam that stretched on for hours. Some folks with tickets just gave up and turned around. Tourists passing from town had no choice. Just driving back to Colorado from California and ran into this. I had to stop and get gas and, you know, turn the air conditioner off, afraid it was going to overheat on me. The checkered flag only brought a repeat of the traffic headache going the opposite direction. This is all our first time experience uh, with the racetrack. I would imagine it's going to be kind of the same thing coming back out, with the exception of the people who are traveling across trying to get to Utah. And these are now live pictures we're showing you from Sky 13. The traffic jam leaving the speedway continues at this very hour. Of course, now it's going southbound. If you have to get out and about right now, you should avoid Las Vegas Boulevard south from the Speedway. Nellis and Craig, of course, were both nightmares before the race. You can assume they would be the same right now. And Interstate 15, as you just saw there, is busy once again, this time southbound. Luckily, we have no reports of any serious car wrecks. 